I bet you all thought that I forgot about this project. Nope, I've just been busy. See, back in October, work picked up, and we've been working on all kinds of movies and TV shows these past few months. And here we are, end of May, and I'm just now getting around to editing the rest of this video. I even had to go back and watch the last couple of videos just to remember where I left off. After I pulled the engine out of the bike last year, I took it over to my buddy Tony's. He works on a lot of Ducatis. Tony really knows this era of Monster 900s. So Tony took the whole engine apart, and needless to say, it's disgusting. The best way to clean these parts up is to take them and get them vapor blasted. As far as I know, vapor blasting is pretty similar to sandblasting, except for vapor blasting, the abrasive media is carried by water instead of just air. I've been taking all my parts to get vapor blasted at a place up in Santa Clarita called City Garage. They do a really good job, and the guy that runs the place is really nice. He even puts up with all my stupid questions about rebuilding motorcycles. When these parts came back, they looked flawless. It was like they were brand new again. To add a little bit more protection, I decided that I'm gonna Cerakote all of these aluminum parts. Most of them will be clear, a couple of them will have some colors. Cerakote has a pretty good range of colors, so now I just need to decide if I wanna match the original kind of dark olivey color, or if I wanna just do it black. So I've also kinda of taught myself how to do all of this Cerakote. It's not that hard. Some parts need to be baked. Some are fine with just air curing. First thing you wanna do is wash them off real good. Just soap and water is fine, and then some degreaser, and then stick them in an oven to help flash off any moisture or solvents. Some of these parts I wanna highlight with a little bit of one-shot paint. So I'm just taking my time and trying not to screw up. So after I got everything all cleaned up and Cerakoted and painted, I took the engine back over to Tony and he put it back together. He put new bearings in the transmission, rebalanced the crank, honed out the cylinder, put new pistons in it, kind of went through the whole thing. Tony added a slipper clutch, and I think once I have this clutch basket frame anodized black, it'll look really nice with this red pressure plate. Putting the bike back together hasn't been too hard so far. Now I'm getting to the part of the build where I'm putting the bike back together. I have to make some decisions on what colors things need to be. Like, do I paint these fins on the cylinder heads black again, or do I just leave them natural aluminum? I think one of the trickiest parts about putting this bike back together is actually just making the decision on what things I'm going to have red, what things I'm going to have black, and what things I'm going to have the natural metallic color. It just needs to have a balance. And who knows, I might change my mind again. I've been teetering on whether or not to make the swing arm black for the past couple of weeks. Sometimes it's kind of nice to have cool neighbors. Right around the corner from us is West Coast Customs. I took my tank over there and they sprayed it black and red for me and it is gorgeous. I promise this bike is not gonna be a garage queen when I'm all done with it. I will ride it and I will treat it like a normal bike. Right now I'm just so scared to scratch anything. <laughs> 